Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to go live on Facebook with StreamYard. StreamYard is a professional live streaming and recording studio in your browser and that's great because you don't need to download any software. Right away, we're going to be showing you how you can use this awesome software to start your live stream, have a studio quality recording on your connection and multi-stream on different platforms all at once. However, of course, our focus on this tutorial is on live streaming on Facebook with StreamYard. To get started, we're going to look at the button right here. You can see Get Started. At the top right corner, you can also see Get Started, but we're going to click on this one. And now you have two options. You can sign up with Google or continue with your email. This is pretty easy, so we're going to follow this option. After selecting our Google Mail to connect with StreamYard, it does ask the question, what will you use StreamYard for the most? Well, we want to do a live on Facebook, right? So we're going to choose live streams. When you click on this, click on submit. On this page, you're provided with two options. Start for just $1 with the advanced features right here, but we're going to continue with the free trial. The free trial does help you to get a taste of what StreamYard can do before committing to it. Then you have how your free trial works. So we're going to click on got it because we have three stages here. Today, confirm your trial, no payment due. And then you have enjoy StreamYard with no limits for seven days and keep StreamYard advanced only if you love it, right? So we're going to click on got it. Then we'll need to put in our card details. So now we've put in our card details and we're going to click on save payment details. Awesome. We're on our free trial and we can click on continue. Then we're going to click and get started Awesome, now we're on our StreamYard dashboard. On the left side, we have Home, Library, Destinations, Members. So right here in Library, you can see you currently have no recordings and your recordings will show up here, exactly what it says. So when you have your live stream or you have some recordings, they will be situated right here. And right here, you can also manage them, such as deleting them, moving them or exporting them. Now, when you go over to destinations, this is basically where you get to connect your StreamYard to other services. If you have a Facebook page, like we'll be showing you in this example, you have Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, and you can stream on Facebook through these options. Now here you have members and you can connect other members to your StreamYard and you can see right here, we have three seats left and all you need to do is to click on invite member, write out the team name, click on next to follow the processes. You have all the settings right here, which we can go through, but would like to show you immediately how to go live on Facebook with StreamYard. Now the home here shows you where you can create a live stream, record, or an on-air webinar. You also have the option to prepare where you get to test your studio and add a destination. Now, before you want to go live, you need to test your studio. This is important if you're to have success in streaming. So we're going to click on this and here it says entering studio. Now, in order to proceed on this stage, you'll need to allow mic and cam access. This will help you to get proper feedback on whether your microphone and camera are working properly. Then when you're done, you can go back to the homepage. Now, as you can see, our microphone is working and that's why it's picking up. We're going to mute it right now and you can see that it has stopped working because we muted it. And then you have a stop cam. You can decide to stop the camera. And here you have the option to add an avatar. If you click on edit avatar, you will have the option to upload a photo. So here we're going to choose this, click on open, click on apply. And this is what's going to show when you're not using your camera. You can change this avatar any other time you like, but we can proceed with this. Then you have the settings button right here. Then you have your camera, audio, virtual background, recording, hotkeys, etc. These options will help you, as we mentioned earlier, to get prepared for your live view. And then here you have your display name. So we gave a display name of Stargazer, and then you can click on enter studio. So this is how it's going to look like as you enter the studio. You have different options to have different layouts when you're in your live view. These options here are basically options you can change along the way as you're on your live streaming. Right away, we're going to go over to the create button right here, click on create. And then as we saw at the homepage, we had these different options. We're going to click on live stream. And you can see here, as we mentioned before, you have different options where you can select different social media pages. 
you could actually stream to multiple destinations. But in this case, we want to use just Facebook. We're going to use our Facebook page and it's going to try to connect us to Facebook. If your Facebook is already connected to your browser or you're already logged onto your browser, you will have this page pop up. If you don't, it's going to ask you to log in in order to authorize StreamYard to have access to these features. And then we're going to click on continue. Now, because we chose a Facebook page, it's taking us to the available pages on our Facebook profile. We're going to choose this one. And then it says Facebook page connected. Awesome. You can add different destinations. As we click on the plus, you can see why we love StreamYard. So you can connect your YouTube channel, etc. But of course, we're going to stay narrowed down to Facebook as that's what we're doing here. And we're going to put the title and description. So as you can see, we just have a random title, our StreamYard Live and the description, happy to stream through StreamYard. Join us. So we've done that. And then we have the option to schedule for later. You can go ahead and create a live stream. However, we're just showing you what you need to do in order to actually go live on Facebook. Because once you click on this, you will be live on Facebook and anyone on Facebook will be notified that you're now live. So when we click on schedule for later, we can schedule it for some days ahead or a month ahead. Then set the date and the time and upload a thumbnail for this. The thumbnail will help others to see what it's about and identify with your stream. So now we've chosen a date and a time, and then we're going to click on create live stream. Remember, we clicked on schedule for later. So when we click on create live stream, this will set it for the future. However, if you're not interested in scheduling for later and you want to go live right now, you can uncheck this box and click on this button right here, and it will start your stream immediately. So as you can see, it says live stream studio detected, go live when you're ready. And all we need to do is to click and go live here. But of course, as we mentioned before, we're here and you need to understand what you need to do around this page. Now, here is where you have your different layouts for your view and you can click on edit layout or add a new layout. Then here you have Stargazer, which is the name we give ourselves. You can decide to add a stage, present or invite someone else to present. And then you have the settings which we went through. And here you can do some troubleshooting in case you have any challenges afterward. Then you have present, which is where you can share your screen, invite others. And then when you're done, you can leave the studio. And then on the right side here, you have stuff like comments, banners, style, private chat. So this is a banner and you can create a banner to show on your live stream. And then here you have the scenes panel. If you'd like to show different scenes or making a presentation so everyone can see it, you can use scenes with StreamYard. So if you're making a broadcast or a presentation, you can make a very good use of the scene card and enhance your presentation. That button can be found here. When you hover over it, you can see show scenes panel. And then of course, if you want to reschedule your live, you can reschedule it by clicking on edit and then make your changes here or even right here. If you'd like to have a pre-recorded video, you can also switch it up to change it. So when you're ready, all you need to do is to go over to go live Click on it and you'll be live on Facebook with StreamYard. We hope this tutorial has helped you to know the ins and outs of StreamYard. So we hope you can be successful at going live on Facebook or any other social media platform using StreamYard. Thanks for watching.